Hi crafty friends, it's Audra Monk the Crafty Yogi and welcome to 2 o'clock Tuesday and Yoga for Crafters. I'm obviously not in the crafty corner today. Um, I am at Kopalu which is a yoga center in um, uh, Massachusetts and it's absolutely beautiful today. It rained yesterday, I think it's gonna rain tomorrow so I went for a walk and I thought I'll do my video here and I'll just post it so it's not live because there's no internet out here by the lake. So let's get started though. So push away from your table, um, your kitchen, whatever it is you're doing and take a couple minutes to do some yoga. So if possible I want you to stand up but if you need to do the sitting down you can totally do uh, the first part sitting down. If you're standing up we're gonna stand up. Oh you can't see my feet. Hmm, how far do I have to go back? Okay, you know what? You won't be able to see my feet. The angle is a little tricky. Um, but have your feet about shoulder width apart or hip, actually hip width apart. If you need shoulder width, take that extra half a step out. All right, lift up your toes, even if they're in shoes. Mine are in shoes, you can see my new uh, hiking shoes. Um, even if they're in shoes, lift up your toes and spread them wide. You might even spread your fingers wide. See how my fingers and toes did it together. And then let it settle down. Feel the inner edge of your foot and the outer edge of your foot. And if you're sitting, you can do this sitting. If you're standing, then we're gonna engage the quads, pulling up those muscles, and roll the shoulders. So we almost always start with a shoulder roll, right? Roll the shoulders. And now, what we wanna think about is, I've got my name tag on, um, is that the chest is usually tight, right? Because we're rounded forward when we're crafting, right? And we love our crafting and we wanna be able to do it longer. So we're gonna take this stretch. And this is a great one you can do any, almost anytime, anywhere, sitting or standing. So shoulders down and back. And then take your arms and reach them behind you a little. So they're back behind me, right? And we're gonna breathe here. We have to stay here for about a minute. So you could take 10 long breaths or you could just listen to me chat you up. Uh, check that your chin is tucked and the top of your head reaches towards the ceiling. Good, palms are open and active. So on the back body, my shoulders are coming together. And on the front, my chest is stretching. And this feels glorious. The belly pulls in. If you're standing, go ahead and engage those quads again in case they've let go. You don't have to squeeze them ultra tight, but just comfortable. Good, and let's take three deep breaths together. We're gonna inhale through the nose and softly exhale through the mouth. So inhale, exhale. Good, and again, inhale, exhale. And once more, inhale. Exhale. And then let the arms come in and check it out. Oh, that feels good. So you might stop there. Or we're going to do one last thing. Something for the wrists. I had no idea what I was going to do, but I definitely wanted to post a video today. So interlace your fingers. We're on lunch break. Um, interlace your fingers. And then start to roll your wrists around. Roll them one way. And then the other way. And then do a little figure eight. Yep, figure eight. And so this you can definitely do sitting in the chair. You can do it while you're the passenger in a car. You can do it waiting somewhere. It doesn't look too crazy. And then come back to center, open the fingers, switch the cross of the fingers, and do it again. So circle one way, and circle the other way. So this, uh, these two stretches, the mountain pose with the arms back, and then figure eights, and this wrist stretch, this is gonna make you feel great all day long. Good, and then bring them out. Bring them to uh, fingers touching each other. So prayer pose, fingers wide, lift the elbows, press it in, oh, it feels so good. Oh, breathe here. I will say I miss my stampin' stuff. It's fun to be away, but you know, sometimes you miss the stuff that you do regularly. And then gently release. And if you're sitting, just rest uh, hands on the thighs. If you're standing, shoulders down and back, arms just at your side. And again, we pause. And there you go. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's less than five minutes. I'm hoping so. Um, I hope it helps you today. I hope it makes you feel happy. I hope it keeps you doing what you want to do. Um, so thank you so much for joining me for a little bit of yoga for crafters. I'm Audra Monk, the Crafty Yogi, and I will see you next time. Thank you.